Hey guys, it's Hannah. I'm back. I decided that I wanted to do a video that was personal to me. Um, that wasn't just like a, oh, 50 facts about me or like a day in life or a skincare routine or something. Which I will do all those eventually. Honestly, let's be freaking real. But I kind of was kind of... Like, I just kind of wanted to do something that showed you a little bit more about me. It's a freaking story time. Obviously, I've never done one of these, but I'm gonna try my freaking best. I'm basically just gonna get into it because this is actually a big, not a big event in my life, but it was definitely something that kind of helped me see life in a different way and it helped me see myself in a different way. It helped me see the industry in a different way and it helped me kind of gather an idea of maybe what I wanted to do or maybe what I didn't want to do anymore. You know, okay, so I'm just gonna get to it. So this is the story about when I won the American Idol experience in Disney World and when I actually auditioned for the show and basically got rejected. Well, when I auditioned for the show and realized that it actually isn't what it's cracked up to be. I'll get into that. I will get into that. So, um, I want to say March 2014. 2014 is basically just early 2014 is the important date here because I was 14. My family, me, my mom, my brother, my sister, my nana, freaking pop, we were going to Disney World. I don't know how long we went for. It was a very long time ago. Okay, I'm so old now. Okay, I'm not 14 anymore. We go. Have a great time. In the Magic Kingdom, I see Rapunzel, like, hanging out, having a nice time. And I think it was, like, the last two days we were going to be there, we were going to Universal. So, we stumble across the American Idol experience. Now, my Nana has always supported me. My entire family has always supported me. But I say my Nana because she was definitely like, pushing me to be like, Hey girl, like, you love singing. I think you're talented. Please just do American Idol. Like, just do it, you know? And I was like, Nana, like, I'm nervous. Like, please, like. So the entire time, she wasn't pressuring me to do it at all, but it was always in the back of my mind. The idea, once it got in my mind, I couldn't shake it. The entire time at Disney, I was like, crap getting closer to the freaking American Idol part like I need to make a decision on whether I'm gonna do it or not because it's a walk-in thing you don't just like buy a ticket you know like, you walk in <sighs> I'm getting ahead of myself we walk by Star Wars the Star Wars exhibit and the American Idol experience is just right there and I'm like dude dang like this is it Nana and she's like yeah, girl, you're gonna do it. And I'm like, yeah, you're right. Mind you, I've got this red shirt on that says my name on it with like the Mickey Mouse symbol because my mom wanted us to all like match. And so looking back at it now, wouldn't it be my outfit of choice for this audition? But at the time as a 14 year old hanging out with her freaking fam, heck yeah, that was my outfit. Basically, I don't really remember much like specific details. Like if you came for specific details, girl, I am like reaching so far to remember the things that happened when I was 14. Like that was four years ago, girl, like so much happened. I remember having to like make sure, like I had to verify that was me or something. I don't even know. And I had to audition for the casting director, like the producer or something. I auditioned for her and it was like a big, big book of like all these songs and she was like girl you're gonna have to pick on these songs and i was like okay I'm like sure like i'll do it and i saw sunday morning by the maroon five was on it and i was like "Ooh, i sing this when i play freaking guitar in my freaking coffee shop sometimes i wasn't really thinking much of it so i was like oh i'll sing this song she was like no no you probably shouldn't sing this song just you know you're too young for this song and i was like okay okay like okay like it's fine i'll sing the climb by miley cyrus because you know your girl is a hannah montana gal so i sang this song and it kind of worked like i i felt it and she was feeling it the casting director she was feeling it. we were just feeling it and so i got to go past her and so then i had to sit in this little area they gave us these cool ipods or something and i just had to listen to my song and i had to go into this room and they were just like, hey girl, we're just gonna see how you look on camera and just sing for us again and we'll see if you're good enough to like go to the stage round. Of course, this is just a mock like 
It's to make you feel like you're on American Idol. Like, that's essentially what it is. I made it past that part and I was like, heck freaking yeah. So they were like, girl, listen, now you're gonna have to go, I think I had to go through like three rounds of singing. So like it was me versus like a couple of other people. Tons of people auditioned every single day for this experience thing because if you win like all of the rounds and the finale, then you get a golden ticket, AKA you get to skip a few rounds in the actual audition of American Idol. So I was like, okay. After I got past those, it was like two guys. They were like, okay, you're gonna come back and you are gonna go through makeup. Oh my gosh, I forgot. They were like, you're gonna go through makeup and you're going to practice you're gonna practice your song and you're gonna do all that. All I remember very much is the finale because that was like the big shebang. But I had to do my makeup and I was so excited because it was this nice lady and she was just doing my makeup. I was 14, I had no idea what freaking makeup was. I remember walking into this like dance, you know, like a dance studio where there's a mirror and whatever and uh, I had to practice singing and kind of performing and that deals with smiling, being warm towards the audience, whatever. And that, that lady was super nice. I just remember going through these rounds. Oh, dude. It all just came back to me. I sang in front of this audience, like a full freaking audience. And I sang, like I learned how I had to like follow the camera and like just circle around, like I had to circle around at one point. Why did I sing the same song twice? That seems like... It's like really stressing me out, like why did I sing the same song twice? Did I? If I did, then girl, whoa. It wasn't my decision. Anyway, I sang and I made it. So I was able to go to the finale round. The finale round was like at 6.30 at night. Like this was like at 2.30 or like 3 or whatever. I had to come back in a few hours. I remember I had to wear, I had to wear this like American Idol lanyard. I have a picture of it, I'll show it right here. I had to wear it and I had to walk, I didn't have to, but I was walking around freaking Universal with this thing on. I'm not even kidding, like this sounds like an exaggeration, but people were following me around. These girls were just following me around and they were actually on the same ride as me, but they were very nice and they made sure to tell me that I was very good and it helped my self esteem because I was very nervous about the finale. Okay, the finale. Like, I was very shook, like, they really were just throwing all this stuff at me. Like, I auditioned, I made it, I made it past the freaking rounds. Like, I was about to go to the finale, these people were liking me. Like, I was very confused, I don't even know what if these girls were hired. Like. I don't know. I don't think that they were, but what if they were, you know? The finale comes around. So many people were there. They tell us we're gonna be interviewed, whatever. We practiced that, actually. We practiced the interviews before the real show. I don't even honestly remember what I said, but in the finale, like, on stage, like, your interview, you're asked questions, you know, like, the host, like, Ryan Seacrest wasn't there, but, like, his lookalike doppelganger was. It was time. Everyone else sang, and I think I was the last one. You know, I was singing, I was singing, I was looking at my family, like, yes, dude, like, I made it, mom, like, I don't have to finish high school, like, I did it. And at the end, we all got in the semicircle, and they announced the second, the second place, whatever, and then it was time for them to announce the winner. And confetti just burst from the freaking ceiling, and they're like, Hannah Conklin won, she won, like, Hannah won, she's the winner, and I was like, I am in this Disney shirt that my mom made and I just won American Idol. The experience. I was shook. Looking back at it now, actually just the day after I realized that I didn't win American Idol, it was just the experience in Disney World. Best moment of my life, like I peaked there. Since I won, I was given this golden ticket to essentially audition for the real American Idol. So it finally came down to, I was about to turn 16. And we were like, dude, there's auditions in Savannah, Georgia. And this was July, 2015. So dude, I was like 16 at this point, I think actually. I think I had turned 16. I was either about to turn 16 or I had turned 16. I just remember being so nervous when we were driving up there. It was me, my mom, and my dad. This wasn't the experience anymore. Like, dude, I was going into it expecting it to be like the experience. So I'm gonna have to tell you this right off the bat. I didn't sit in a room with a bunch of other people in like this hotel lobby like waiting for my name to be called so I can sing for Jennifer Lopez. That's not what happened. 
I had to wait in this super long line, which of course, like, wasn't shook about it or anything. Like, they always show that line on TV. The golden ticket that I got from the experience, it allowed me to skip ahead a few rounds. So instead of, like, standing in this long line singing for all of these producers for 10 seconds and then telling you yes or no and then you move on to the next round i got to skip that and wait um that was done the day before so i came in a day later and i had to wait seriously i waited 12 hours of not kidding in this like auditorium stage thing with all these other people it was really nerve-wracking like when everyone was like singing, just like singing their songs, like, with their guitars, just like ev making sure that everyone knew that they knew how to sing. Everyone was singing. And I was like, Mom, Dad, like, like, I, like I, I don't think I can sing the climb here. Like, let's call it, let's call it quits. So I think I may have pictures of it, but I'm not sure. So the time comes around. The people who had my the golden tickets, so there was multiple people that had the golden ticket with me. I was just sitting there chilling and we had, it was me and a couple of other people. And we had to sit in this really skinny hallway and we were, had to wait to be let in to see like this like table full of producers. And it was finally my turn. I had been debating whether or not I should sing The Climb by Miley because it was such a hit, you know, when I was 14 or if I should sing like Sunday morning because I was comfortable with Sunday morning and I think I you know I just it's late like Sunday morning looking back now I wouldn't sing either of those songs like looking back now if I were audition again I would not sing either of those songs and so I walked in and no one looked at me I was like hey guys like no one looked at me Basically, I'm not trying to drag anyone, but to cut things short, I literally opened my mouth and sang for two seconds. I'm not kidding. And the guy stops me. He goes, hey, listen, you're, you're really good, but this is the last season of American Idol. So we're looking for the best of the best. This is my heart. Shattered. I was like, you don't want me to sing anymore? Like, I was that guy. I didn't say that, but I was like, where's Keith? Where's Keith Urban? Where is he? Can he, is he behind the curtain? Like, can I sing for him? Like, where's Keith? He wasn't there. And you wanna know why he wasn't there? Because that's for the TV. That's for the TV version, but this is like nitty gritty, like producers, producers, producers. And this isn't even a, I'm exposing American Idol. Like, this is not that. It's kind of like a, this is what it actually is. Like, it's just the business. It's just the freaking industry of it. Like, it's just kind of how a reality TV show works. And as a 15, 16 year old, I didn't know that. So I left there and I was devastated. The most emotional, dramatic exit ever. Like, not, not with the producers. I kept my cool. Okay, I did not shed a tear. But when we were out of the, when we were out of the building, it was just me and my mom and my dad. We were walking down the freaking street. That was my walk of shame. But looking, I can laugh at it now because I was only 15. Like, the guy had a point. I let it affect my self-confidence a little bit. But after being down in the dumps and feeling sorry for myself, I was like, you know what? No. No. Uh-uh. We, we don't do that here. Not in my house. I just let it encourage me even more. I was constantly playing on my guitar. I was constantly writing songs and just making myself better and better. I kind of had my own successes in my own ways. That's that story about the time I got rejected by American Idol, but I also won the American Idol experience and I learned a lot about myself and a lot about reality TV and American Idol in general. And yeah, that's the freaking story. If you liked this video, please like and subscribe. Hit the notification bell, you know, if you wanna see more videos. Um, and yeah, so thanks for watching, and I give all my love, and I will see you soon. Bye!